Welcome Aries to November. We are just about at the end of another year. 2022 is drawing to a close very fast. I cannot believe that we are here already. Um, we do have quite a bit going on this month. We are currently between two eclipses. We just had a new moon solar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio on October 25th, and we are approaching another one on November 8th. This is a full moon eclipse in Taurus. So a lot of big shifts that we find ourselves in. Be easy on yourself, especially in the first part of this month. October is a little bit of a bumpy ride, or November is a little bit of a bumpy ride, I should say. Uh, we do also have your ruling planet Mars retrograde for the rest of this year, so... Let's kind of inspect the damage here, shall we? Uh, we do also have um, some quick announcements to get through before we dive into your reading. I am actually running a sale on my website. So if you're interested in a personal reading or distance Reiki session, now is a fabulous time to book that. I have a sale running through November 8th for eclipse season. Um, you can get 20% off using the discount code that you can find in the description box or right on my website. I give you plenty of opportunities to catch it. Um, and yeah, I'd love to work with you. I love working with people around this time of year. It's always nice to kind of bring the year to a close and really look forward to what the next year has in store for us. Anyways, Aries, I've already pulled some animal cards for you. I've already been connecting with your energy, and I definitely feel this Scorpio energy is strong with you this month because we have the Vulture card. We have the Scorpion card. It's literally got Scorpio right in there. Um, I, I feel like something is sort of happening. There is a setback or a loss. There could be some sort of stinging remark or word. Um, or exchange that it is, is said to you, but it feels small. I'm actually not super concerned about it, to be honest with you, Aries. I feel like you are finding the sustenance. You are finding life in something that appears like a loss or even a death. That is very much what Vulture can teach us to do. So if you do find yourself feeling a little down or heavy, Vulture can actually be a really beautiful animal or spirit to invoke or visualize because Vulture is literally the teacher of finding life in death, finding life in loss. Uh, so these are themes that might be coming up for you. Again, we are in Scorpio season. It can definitely be a bit heavy. I know right at the start of Scorpio season, end of October, I was really feeling this energy. Um, but we do also have the Cobra here as well. Very, very beautiful energy, very spiritual, very timed as well. There's a lot with timing coming up with Cobra and really biding your time. I did get a glimmer of the moth card as I was shuffling here, and sometimes with moth, we can think of a moth drawn to a flame. So there could be this restless sort of energy. You could be drawn to things that aren't necessarily good for you or even destructive for you. And that might be where you are experiencing this sort of ending or this heaviness. Um, we do have an eclipse in Taurus on the 20, or I'm sorry, on the 8th. And so we are experiencing some sort of sh change or disruption to your sense of stability. There could be something financial that is happening for you this month as well. Um, if you do find yourself in some sort of financial predicament or trouble at the beginning of this month, don't freak out about it. Um, you know, meditate, find your center. I think there will be more that develops in that situation. Let's actually pull some cards for you and see how things are going. But I feel like whatever it is that might make you be feeling a little unsettled or just a little on edge at the beginning of this month, I don't think it's as big of a deal as it, it may first appear. Um, what do we have for, what do we have for Aries? So interestingly, we have the two of cups showing up in the past. And sometimes when I see a card in the past, it can actually indicate that there might've been a relationship this could be a partnership, uh, a friendship even, someone you walked away from. And that could have really happened, especially in Libra season. So first part of October, there could have been some shifts happening there. Um, 
some sort of shift in relationship, and it actually was kind of further confirmed with the Two of Swords. Or, I'm sorry, the Five of Swords. And if this isn't referring to a breakup, there might have just been, like, some sort of disagreement or power struggle in a relationship, and this does not have to be romantic. This could just be a close friend or family member um, or even a business partner. But it's almost like you needed to take time and space away from somebody. Um, this could also be with a sibling, actually, as well, because there's a lot of focus with your ruling planet Mars in Gemini on siblings and people you could consider your peers. Um, so th there's really a number of relationships that are kind of coming into focus for you this month. But I do get the sense, like, there's a relationship or a bond that one or both parties needed to distance from. And we have the Empress card here. Now, it's really interesting about these messages. It's almost like... Love doesn't always mean being attached to someone or spending every waking moment with them. And I feel like some of you are, are experiencing some sort of theme in your relationships about just how much time and energy you are spending on each other. I feel like some of you have also been healing from past relationships and finding love within yourself. And maybe you're even in a new place to love other people. And we have the Three of Cups. So this could be involving multiple people. Sometimes I think of sisterhood when I see the Three of Cups or, or friend groups, especially small friend groups. Um, some of you are connecting with a Libra or a Taurus energy this month. I actually feel like there's a lot of celebration to be had in the month of November for you. I keep wanting to say October. Um, maybe this is kind of crossover. Maybe there's been a lot of connection in the month of October. Maybe you are actually walking away or distancing from a group of people or a few people, but you're still feeling the love. You're still feeling the connection. And what's really beautiful when we have the progression from the Two of Cups to the Three of Cups, it's like Something that started off between two people or in a very close-knit setting or connection is now reaching other people. Let me pull some more cards. Ten of Cups. There is a lot of beauty and love that is overflowing into other people's lives. What I'm honestly getting from this, Aries, it's almost like you might have been kind of in a cycle, and this might be longer than just the past month, but you, you may have been in the cycle where you were so focused on one relationship or a few relationships that you, you may have neglected or forgotten about the myriad of relationships you are in. And I feel like... With November, you're really reconnecting with people. You're really coming back to these connections that mean a lot to you. I'm actually feeling like some of you might also be attending a wedding or a baby shower. I could potentially see that with the Empress, uh, Three of Cups and Ten of Cups, or some sort of function or celebration of that nature. And the Eight of Cups. Interesting, interesting. Let's look more at this Eight of Cups. I, I really get this kind of interesting energy here because it's like you want to be with these people 
or with a, a special person. But then there's something in life, there, there are things happening in your life right now that's almost creating this sort of separation. And there might also be like miscommunications that are happening this month as well. Maybe that's why things feel a little disconnected. There could be something with a work opportunity or something financial that is potentially keeping you apart from people that you love. This could also be a new commitment. Um, I really do feel like there's something about a wedding or, or something about a baby shower. And some of you might actually be traveling a ways to do that. You might not even be able to do it at first. You might think you, you can't afford to go to this celebration or to do this thing that you want to do. But I, I am actually feeling from spirit there will be a way forward. There will be a path forward. So if there is something that you're hoping to, to do, maybe we're talking about the holidays, um, I, I feel like you will find a way forward. You will find a way to connect with your loved ones, whether that's family, friends, um, whoever this is for you, you will connect with your loved ones. And sometimes we have to be apart from them. You know, distance makes the heart grow fonder. I, I kind of get an energy like that for you as well. Um, and the magician for the future. I love to see that. Um, we do have some manifestations. We do have things that are coming into your life in a very synchronistic and aligned way. Um, interesting how I said that. And I saw 1155 on the timer on the camera here. Um, so there, there really could be some sort of synchronistic change that is happening. And it's bringing a new cycle. But it's, it's almost like full circle. And Aries, there's there's kind of a really specific message here. And again, these are general messages. Not all of these are going to apply to all of you. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Um, but I feel like there is a relationship that you left or a connection you kind of closed the door on. Doesn't have to be romantic, but I kind of do get that vibe, to be honest. Um... And I almost get this very specific scenario where you are going out with your friends, just having a good time, enjoying your life. And there is someone from the past who you are meeting, or maybe it's someone new, but I actually think it's someone from the past. It's not the most recent person you broke up with, though. It's almost like someone who you haven't spoken to in years. Like, think high school or college or something like that. And now you're an adult and it's like you are you are re meeting or reuniting with someone who isn't even on your radar anymore. But it's kind of just bringing this flood of memories. And that could be something that's actually happening around the holidays, especially if you are traveling to your hometown or traveling away for the holidays. You could reconnect with someone who you almost forgot about, basically. Um, especially if they are a Virgo or a Gemini energy. But I, I'm really getting the sense of, like, finding connections in very unexpected ways this month, which is interesting. Um, I am actually curious about love. We do have the Hermit. Yeah, some of you are withdrawing, disconnecting. Some of you might feel isolated or lonely. Again, Virgo energy. Um, tell me more about this hermit card. I feel like you're, you're really needing to find the light within. We have the fool. Sometimes I think of the fool as your energy Aries being the first in the Zodiac, you really kind of start things off for all of us. Um, but it's also Uranus, the planet. And this full moon eclipse is going to be conjunct Uranus.
Show me clearly. Why is the fool and the hermit here? The tower. It's like a leap of faith. Interesting. Mars and Scorpio energy. There's like really sudden changes that are happening in your relationships. If I can be so bold. Um, your relationships could actually be pretty dramatic this month. And maybe you feel like you need to withdraw or disconnect or spend some more time to yourself. Really reconnect with yourself. Because the Fool and the Tower are both very catalytic energies. They're very sudden and unexpected. And then the Hermit is kind of this desire or need to go inward and to reflect and to find this inner light. Okay? Um, I feel like your relationships could actually be a bit destabilizing for you this month. So that might be something to kind of keep in mind. And if, if you are trying to find a resolution or solution between you and another person, you can't force that. You can't rush that right now, actually. You will only be creating a further divide or wedge between you and other people if you are going in with the attitude of solving their problems. And I think you really do need to learn from what is not working and integrate something, absorb something, digest something with the vulture card that we pulled at the beginning of this reading for you. Is there anything else for love or relationships for Aries? We do have the lovers. This really is like all over the place. <laughs> um, I'm honestly even wondering if some of you might be dating multiple people or, or involved with multiple people. Um, just because th there's like a lot of different energies. There's a lot of different people. And again, doesn't have to all be romantic. The lovers can also represent finding unity within ourselves, finding the kind of unity with these different polarities within ourselves. There is also this migrating energy as well. Um, I'm getting a lot of birds for you. I feel like there's a lot of travel, which actually makes a lot of sense because Sagittarius season is all about travel for you. Um, I'm getting a lot of energies with travel and maybe traveling with a partner or traveling with someone and you might need to be spending time to yourselves or separating from each other while you're traveling um, because you're, you're just like, Sometimes when you travel with another person, you're like with them 24 seven or with the whole, with them the whole time. It's important that you do take time out to breathe. You could also be dating someone or talking to someone or just friends with someone who is really going through a major change. Someone might actually be going through a breakup or someone could actually be kind of branching out after being single for some time or kind of recovering from a really traumatic relationship ending. Um, very all over the place. You have to let me know in the comment section down below, like what is happening in relationships for you? Because it seems very complicated. There's a lot of layers here. Um, I actually kind of want to pull a little more here. We have temperance, a lot of major arcana in love and relationships for you of the fool, hermit, tower, lovers, temperance, all of them are major arcana. Um, there's a need to find balance. And it's almost like I was talking about two polarities coming together that could both be within you, but I actually feel like it's also external. It's like there's this relationship that you can't quite let go of or this person that you have like kind of a love hate bond with and you're, you're both realizing like you have a lot to learn from each other. You have a lot to learn from this person. Um, and again, I'm, I'm getting that very strong like Scorpio energy as well as Sagittarius energy with this person. Um, wow. Wow. Okay. And again, communication is just like people are kind of shooting from the, the, the what is it? Shooting from the hip is the expression. That could be you. That could be people around you. Um, 
what do we have financially for you? We have the Six of Pentacles, generosity, some gifts. We love to see that. And the Hierophant, Taurus energy, which literally is the sign that rules over your finances and abundance and security. There could be some sort of gift. There could be some sort of charity. Um, you could be receiving help from a mentor or even from an institution. Ace of Swords. Someone is offering someone assistance or a gift. I look at this six of coins and it is like fruit that are being born. Or fruit that are, are ready to bear. What is the expression? I feel like I'm having a hard time communicating in your reading. So really pay attention. You might be having some trouble communicating with people this month. Um, you may need to slow down, really sit with your thoughts. Um, and as I'm doing that, I'm realizing like what I'm getting for relationships for you, going back to relationships really quickly, it's almost like Something really hard or challenging may be occurring, but it actually brings you closer together. So these trials, these separations, this, these disagreements, this, this disconnected emotion, it's hard, it's painful, it's vulnerable, no one likes to feel it. But by being willing to sit in those emotional states and be present through those emotional states, you actually become closer. Um, so that's interesting. Anyways, going back to finances, there's like a gift. There's something coming in or someone is trying to offer you something or perhaps you are offering assistance to somebody else. Maybe you are abundant and now you feel like you need to be generous with other people. We do have the Empress for you this month as well. So there is a potential for abundance here and you might be called to both act as a giver and a receiver um, with, with resources, with energy. And the Wheel of Fortune. <sighs> faded, faded encountered, faded opportunities are coming for you this month. And you might need to be making a choice between multiple opportunities, actually. Two of Wands. Yeah, there is an opportunity or offer that is going to dramatically alter the course of your life that is going to be coming into focus. Um, you're going to be, you might not even make this decision this month, actually, but you are, are kind of brainstorming or, or charting your course for the year ahead in the month of November. And I feel like some of you are really stepping up towards something that is destined or fated for you, a very lucky opportunity. And that could also be happening kind of spiritually as well, because Jupiter is going direct in Pisces, um, where it is very much at home. Some of you could be di connecting with very distant lands or overseas. And again, that kind of makes sense with Sagittarius energy, especially the Sagittarius new moon on the 23rd. Um, there could be opportunities from afar or opportunities to travel. And maybe you're traveling with someone. Maybe you have a travel partner. I, I feel like the time in this reading is kind of all over the place too. I don't feel like a lot of these messages are just tied to November, but they'll kind of be playing out in your life. Um kind of in the future, not just in November. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. These messages are ultimately timeless in a way because energy is so fluid. You're all going to be experiencing these things in, in different rates and different times. But I'm really just seeing this 10 of wands where everything feels really interconnected, like certain moments and people. It's all connected, Aries. That's really, really interesting. And the star. 
finding faith, finding hope, finding renewal. Some of you are going to a place that is very healing. So this doesn't feel like going on a trip that's like very busy, if you know what I mean. It's it's not like, I don't get a sense you're going to like a big city. It's more like going to a place that is calm or serene or feel, helps you feel connected or aligned with your soul. Maybe for some of you that is a large city, but I feel like for the majority of you with the travel or, or with this chart, chart that, with this course that is being charted, there we go, there is this need to really connect and heal and reflect and find silence and be healed by a place. So kind of keep that in mind as well. And you might be traveling to kind of escape some relationship drama or family drama. Is there anything else? We covered quite the gambit today, Aries. Um, I, I hope that this was helpful for you. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of your tarot scopes. Um, I will see you all in the next video. I'll be running the sale through November 8th again, so if you want to book a reading or a distance Reiki session, click the link down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, Aries, and have a happy November.